Hello. In this video, I'd like to show you how we can use the TI-30X-2S to enter statistical data and perform statistical calculations, both for raw data and also for group data. Now, when we look at this calculator, and I've turned it on, but please notice what you see here in the screen, and that just says degree. I've got a list of 10 grades we'll type into this calculator. What I have to do first is go into the stat mode. So you see where it says stat above the data, and that's a blue key. So I hit second, stat, it asks, do I want one variable or two variables? Now, this is important. Look at this right arrow. And if I go over one more, it says clear data. Now, this is a great little calculator, but you can only have one set of data at a time. So you have to remember after each set of data to clear it so you're ready for the next. We're just working with one variable stat, so we hit enter. All righty. Now you notice it says stat. Now the calculator is ready for the data. What we have to do then is hit the data key and notice it says, okay, what's the first number? And the first number is 78. So we'll type 78 down arrow. It says, how many do I have? And these are all single, so frequency is one. My second number is 84. 80 four, and down arrow, frequency one. The third is 96, down arrow. The fourth is 94, down arrow. The fifth is 58, down arrow. The sixth is 87, down arrow. The seventh is 93, down arrow. The eighth is 79, down arrow. The ninth is 92, down arrow. And the tenth is 81, down arrow. Now what I'm going to do is tell the calculator, show me the results. So I need to hit the button here, stat there, right there. Now, it tells me everything. Let me try to hold this so you can see it. And I'm going to toggle with the right. And I've got 10 numbers. My, my mean is 84.2. SX, my sample standard deviation, 11.27. Sigma X, population standard deviation, 10.69. Sigma X, and sigma x squared, I'm not going to be too worried about. We're not going to be needing those values too much in our course. That's it. I've entered my data. Now, let me show you, please, what we would do if this was grouped data. So, let me come back to data, and let's say I had two 78s. So the frequency, I would say I have two of them. The next number, 84, maybe I had three of those. 96, only one of those. 94, only one. 58, good thing, only one of those. 87, maybe two people had an 87. Whoops. Um, 87. Then I come down to the frequency. I make that 2. See, the frequency is 2. 93, 1. 79, 1. 92, 1. 81, we'll say, 2 people. All righty. I've entered the scores with the frequencies, and that's the only difference for the group data. And then once again, I hit stat there. Now, notice I had 15 numbers. Remember, I changed those frequencies. 
So I have 15 numbers. There's the mean, 83.7, the standard deviation of the sample and of the population. Also, notice that the sample standard deviation is larger than the population standard deviation. Remember, we divide the sample standard deviation by n minus 1, so that makes the sample a little larger. That's the story. We're all done. Now, I can exit stat if I want to leave this menu. If I do, however, my data is still in this calculator. So what I want to do is go to stat and hit stat, come over, and hit enter for clear data. And that will clear the data to show you if I hit data. Notice there's nothing there. And at this point, I can turn my computer off. I can leave it in stat mode. I do not have to exit stat mode. Alrighty. Again, for the money, this is a great little calculator. It will do what you need to do for our stat course. Hope you found this helpful.